hi. So I'm happy to see uh, lots of people here. So third day on a conference, I know what it means. So two days of hard party and uh, lots of beer and drinks. And so I'm really happy to have you all here uh, for good for some couple of some uh, very good sessions, I think. So uh, yesterday I was really impressed by the quality and by the inspire inspiration of the of the talks uh, we heard yesterday, and we. Uh, it was nearly everything covered from mobile games to PS Mobile, which is also mobile, but uh, different platforms. I mean, from s even Symbian, we had Symbian in India, we had Xbox Live Arcade, and uh, it was really interesting uh, to hear all the people really talking about the experiences, and um, I'm happy to welcome now Alexander Markovic from Nordius on the stage, and he will give us some some ideas how to create uh, top tutorials for games because it's really important to get people in your game and how to do it best will be shown now by Alexander. So welcome him on stage. Thank you. So I'm Alexander Markovic. I'm game designer at Nordeus. Uh, we are a Belgrade-based social games developer and our flagship is Top 11 Poodle Manager. So I'll start with a short introduction just to get the basic things. Uh, Top 11 is the Poodle Manager game. It's free to play game, it's multi-platform. We're uh, present at Android and iOS also. Uh, and it's social game, we're present at Facebook and Odnoclastiki actually. So it is uh, like really popular sports game. We have over 9 million monthly active users. We have over 3 million daily active users. And why I'm having all this data is just to set the scope for the rest of the presentation actually. What I'm trying to do is like to show what we're working with when we go on to tutorial. And uh, so, the talk is about the making of Top 11 tutorial. And actually, uh, the good question is why tutorial at all? And I, would, I do not have slide for this, but uh, yesterday I was uh, attending the VUGA presentation and it was about the making games like winning your heart and your brain. And presenter made the joke about uh, designing only with your brain and what would you get on something like football manager, which was like not that funny as a joke, but uh, on the other hand, it had a good point in that, that football managers are kind of brainy games. So uh, back in 2011, we were getting a lot of feedback from our friends, from players, from like guys we knew that the game is like very fun, very good, but there is a huge problem of it being complicating. And like they're overwhelmed. And I can understand that actually, because if you look at this, what you see is like we have like 10 main screens, all those buttons down there are navigation. And we have like a huge amount of data just like glazing at you. And so and this is what you get like when you register. So you start with this like, first thing you see of the game is something like this. And so we're thinking, all right, there might be a problem with like complicated gameplay and like steep entry point. And on the other hand, there's something like this. This is actually, as I guess a lot of you know, this is like a cohort analysis of our attention. And we look at this and we say, all right, uh, this is like the <coughs> number of players that, uh, the players that registered on the same day, that's the cohort. And we see, all right, they all came on the first day, they registered on that day. And on the other day, like the second day, half of them didn't show up at all. And about the same time, we get all that feedback that I was talking about, and we think, all right, maybe we can get to this. Maybe we can try and like soften the impact uh, of seeing all that complicated gameplay and maybe make this something more like, or it, maybe not too much, but just 
get a few percent like on the first day and like several days later it's just important for us to get if you see there is like a stable line you get afterwards when the retention gets stable so if we manage to get those few percent on the numbers and that's like back to the first slide on the numbers we're dealing with this would be, be a great improvement and so we are like all right this is great this is like pretty convincing let's try and make the tutorial so we set some basic design principles and I mean they're pretty intuitive but I want to go through them because I think they're not that irrelevant actually uh, first of all uh, not too long means that we played with some things we made some user testing we just like had some focus groups and uh, not too long actually meant no, not above 10 steps uh, I'm not sure why 10 but it it was something that was empirically pro proven and we went with that so like no tutorial should be about 10 steps for us at least informative actually means that we are trying uh, to not just make you like all right click here click here and now you're uh, on but try to really really uh, communicate like all right if you want to do this we're going to be very informative we're going to tell you about what you're doing and you'll be like a partner you're a learning partner so treat a player as like a smart human being of course always capable if you know about football managers you do not need tutorials at all I mean it's pretty clear and never confusing for users what this means is actually if you churn because of tutorial and we can measure that actually it is a really bad thing so that must not happen never like you need to stay in the game if you see a tutorial so in the end what we ended up doing was pretty much uh, something like this you enter the game and then you're not made to do anything actually we, we, we decided to do things like that you just like see those subtle hints so go here go there why do not why don't you go meet your squad or things like that and when you do go and meet your squad you're just met with like classic linear tutorial but like click here do that and in the meantime we try and explain the things you're doing and give you hints about the gameplay further on in those blue boxes and we do this for like all the main game loops actually uh, there are like at least four or five of them so we thought at least four or five different tutorials and they're like separated so when you enter the screen for the first time that's when you actually go to tutorial and this is something that would interest like the social game developers uh, we thought it was really important to show how to get premium currency because this was back in 2011 this was not so common back then in like it's catching up now uh, giving up your premium currency is really a big deal for players and showing them that in tutorial was in our opinion really great and we needed to do it and that's how tutorial actually pretty much worked so what we went with after that was all right it was like uh, we're social game developers after all and we need to measure this uh, we need to measure the click through we need to like the funnel analysis we need to measure the number of tutorials completed and we need to measure and that is like the most important thing changes in retention that's why we started with the whole thing and how we went with this and I think this is like maybe probably a lot of you know this but if you don't a B test actually beats uh, historical analysis anytime if you go with uh, historical analysis like release the feature and then measure the impact uh, you can get a really uh, tricky data I guess because like the churn uh, the retention graph that I showed you in the beginning it oscillated so it, it could happen that we would release tutorial and it would continue to oscillate and we would not be sure is that because the quality of the players that we brought through marketing has changed or is it like just the impact of tutorial so 
a b test is really a great thing to do uh, click through of course Google Analytics the number of tutorials completed with, with that through backend data but it also could be if you do not have backend you could do such things over Google Analytics and change in retention, uh, in retention uh, cohort analysis is a pretty good, good tool for retention of course so this is like the first results we got on the uh, final analysis of the click-through of the tutorials and these are like the four four main tutorials actually like we said all right these are the four main uh, game loops and <laughs> as you see they're like pretty uniform like a lot of people quit right away around 20 percent are like they do not want to do tutorial at all and like you see that best in finance is the ground and rest of the players are actually pretty like all right let's go through with this and they complete in like 60 or 70 percent of the cases except in the squad and training and why that happens like you see in squad you have like between the fifth and sixth step and in the training you have it like in the second step which is basically the first step is like this this is just like short of presentation how to watch about these things uh, this is actually this is not how it looked this is a mock-up but this is, was actually the problem with the training with the first step we wanted you to click on that small green control over there and there was this ambiguous arrow that actually like it did bounce up and down but when you look at it it points in all three directions and it's not easy to see that that green thing at all so what happened is like that a lot of players would actually just skip the tutorial here and what we did to make it better was just like introduce this arrow which is like more uh, straightforward and some outlines and just try to make things more clear actually and we try to show on every step with the image what we wanted to do and that went pretty well uh, the other thing that we went here if it was and this was also uh, pretty expected is we wanted you to drag a player like on the train and of course you wouldn't get that from this so what we did and this is like really basic thing and but it's funny how it improved things a lot we just added an arrow it had to be dynamic because the player you had to move was not that uh, not the same every time so we just added the arrow and it helped improve things a lot so actually in the end what we got was something like this this is when we improved uh, like uh, some of the UX as you see all tutorials are now completed over 50 percent and we did some minor improvements also but this is actually the moment that we thought all right this is working in a way like at least half the players are finishing the tutorials so what we could do here is like measure the final impact and we went and did that we did the uh, cohort analysis we did it a couple of a couple of times actually and what we got was pretty much like this this is was like retention is uh, at the beginning without tutorial and this was with tutorial so like for effect they're pretty much the same so actually there was no impact at all like they oscillated they were AB tested so they oscillated around each other but in the end it came down to like statistical error error what happened it's a really good question actually uh, one thing that that was not present in our tutorial was emotional attachment value I mean as I said in the beginning football managers are brainy games are like left hemisphere pretty much rational but you need to dedicate yourself to your club to your players to to idea of you being a manager 
And I think that we did not manage to improve on that with tutorial. We, we wanted to be informative, we wanted to be a good teacher, but in the end, uh, that's all we were. And on the other hand, there is a thing with recognizable gameplay. Uh, if you have a game that actually is a genre game, uh, like Football Manager, there is a thing about your players actually knowing, like guys that want to play Football Managers, actually most of the time know how to play Football Managers, or are uh, like at least not afraid of the challenge. Uh, people who are afraid of the challenge, who do not want to commit themselves to like calculating which player is better, like which tactics is best, they actually do not play food managers at all, pretty much. So in the end, I think that gameplay was recognizable and that like, I mean, we couldn't sell it with tutorial to anyone new. And in the end, what I wanted to say about is there any value tutorial at all, at all, I wanted to say, all right, maybe if you do it the right way, and maybe if you're uh, like more casual and you won't want to like cast your net as far as you can. But then two days ago, on the first day, there was this king.com presentation, and they, you know the type of games they do, and the guy was actually presenting principles on which they make games. And one of the four like main principles he presented was like no tutorial. And actually what he said was like, all right, maybe tutorial should be left to more core guys. And I actually, uh, what I'm left here is that I'm really not sure if he says that and like we say that, is there any value in tutorial at all? I mean. If there is one thing that you should take from this is that you should be really, really, if you're into game development and you're making a game, be really careful about the resources you give to tutorials. Because they're not, I mean, I've talked to some guys who had improvement for them, but they're not universally great. So be careful with them and like, if you're into social, of course, test it. And if you get results different than this, please, <laughs> come back to me and show me how to do it. So thank you for coming. I know it's a bit early in the morning. Yeah. Any questions here? Yes. Uh, I, th I got the feeling that you thought you had bad retention, that you wanted to improve that by putting in the tutorial? Not really. Uh, we thought that we could make it better. Yeah. And like, of course, better attention is always something to strive for. And actually, it, it was a very good question because uh, what I forgot to say here is that in the end, we got a better retention <coughs> increase with things like social network uh, tools implementation, things like requests or gifts, than we got with this. So. All, you always want to uh, increase your attention. You always want to increase the, 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 the basis of players you work with. But this was obviously for us, not the way we managed to do that. Yeah, I was also thinking, did you then compare to other games? Is that how you figured, you know, we should improve this metric? Or was it just, you know, we see an opportunity to improve it, end of story? You know what th I mean? Th that's also a really good question because I, uh, metrics are really scarce in social game development. Uh, people are not that open about them. I mean, that's changing a little bit, like in the last six months, I guess. But we did not have at the time back 2011, this was very closed business. Everybody is like looking for or, like for themselves, like so we did not have any insider data on other games. We just wanted to improve that because there was a strong feedback about the game being too complicated. Okay. Did uh, also did you see any monetization improvements from adding the tutorial, or did you not look at it at all? And if you did, you know, did it change? You don't have to give any. Data. So uh, what happened actually was similar to retention. It uh, on the whole A/B test was the, the of course retention was not the only thing measured, and it just oscillated there. The like. It was almost as we never ran tutorial at all. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it was a one-on-one -on -one discussion. So. Are there any other questions here? Okay. 
Uh, you have a very good mobile version as well of the game. Uh, how many resources did you put to bring it from online into mobile? And how, how many, can you give us numbers of <coughs> monthly active users you have in online and mobile? How did that work? Thank so you. So if you're talking about the effort to transfer the tutorial to mobile? No, the whole game actually. Uh, yeah. Because we did not uh, transfer the tutorial to mobile. I mean, that's something that we left when we proved the tutorial was working. But the whole game, I mean, it was an effort uh, that was not small. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, and it takes some time, and I guess it takes uh, like dedicated, talented teams of people doing just mobile. Uh, and right now, about the numbers, I'm not sure, but I know that we have about of 3 million uh, daily active users and, and more. We have above a million on mobiles. Very good. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One last question. Okay, then I have one last question. So you, so first I, I'm uh, a little bit surprised about uh, <laughs> the results. Yeah, so that, uh, that tutorials are not as important as I thought because I, I personally love uh, tutorials. But one thing you mentioned uh, which I find tricky is that uh, they should be skippable. And um, I know that I, I tend to skip a lot in the beginning and then afterwards I don't know how to uh, play the game at a certain point and then I want to get back to that certain point? How do, you, how do you handle that? Actually, this is a presumption that I'm uh, having right now, but I think that uh, like having a, uh, there is a way to address this with like the, the instruction button in the main menu, and this is really basic answer actually. But I think that works really well, because it can be invoked when you want it. I mean, if you want instructions, you can, or in-game tips, in-game tips also work pretty good. You can turn them off, you can turn them back on. So if, if there is help that you can invoke uh, when you want it, like maybe even out of game, like uh, web help, I think that it possibly works better than tutorials. And I think, all, all right, this is what we had, maybe for some other types of games, it would work different. But uh, I think that we would be better off with maybe something like that, like invoking help only when you need it. Okay. And do you think that, uh, so really the last question, <laughs> um, do you think that there are certain type of games that definitely need tutorials? I thought <laughs> that, and I said that, I thought that about the mega casual games. So the games that you want people who never played games before to play. But uh, after what the guy from the king.com said, I'm not that sure anymore, actually. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thank you. Lots. Thank you. Thank you.